BCANS has been in existence for 27 years. It started off in 1991 as a service to assist uh, Indigenous people with disabilities secure employment. We've really have branched out into a number of areas, trying to be something to everybody. We have many roles, but I would say the three primary ones is one, to ensure that people who identify as Indigenous have access to the services that every Canadian has available to them in mental health, to give a voice to Aboriginal mental health. The third thing that I, I believe that, that we can has an obligation to do is to work with other agencies and services in the mainstream and bring an Indigenous perspective to understand the people that are, have mental distress or mental illness or trauma is that they have the same hopes and dreams and aspirations that we all have. Our work is about working with people to build their confidence in the knowledge they have because we feel if we do that, that empowers them. That starts to give them the voice to speak for themselves. That we're developing a trust in that we are here in a good way, provide a service to, to them or the community in a way that makes sense to them, not in a way that makes sense to us. Mental health is as, as important to us as breathing. And this is something Indigenous people understood. They've understood, you look at the rituals, you look at the ceremonies, and say, what's the common theme behind them? They're all about helping that person keep their spirit close, or it, when need be, to, to help them call their spirit back and be reunited with them. Living with a mental illness does not mean that you are designated to a certain aspect of the population. People with mental illness can live well they just need the support, the services, the understanding to be able to do that.